Hi everyone, I'm Mark Resenthal with you late on this Friday afternoon. The weekend is here. Yeah, looking forward to that. But I'll tell you what, if you don't like winter storms, you're not going to like the forecast because we have a pretty decent storm coming up here starting tomorrow night. Should be with us for a good chunk of Sunday. And behind the storm, boy, it's going to get cold and windy. The coldest air of the season. Boston by Monday morning could be close to zero with wind chills of 10 to 20 below. Ouch. And the Patriots are playing on Sunday. Come on, let's beat the Chiefs. Let's do it. Do it, do it, do it, baby. Do it till you're satisfied. All right, let's get into it. Here we go. Weather forecast being brought to you by MyWoodEnergy.com. Boy, you're going to need firewood over the next couple of weeks. We have bouts of cold coming, so call them. 781-272-0568 online at MyWoodEnergy.com. Weather headline would suggest that snow breaks out Saturday night, probably in Boston after 8 o'clock. Then it will be going over to sleet and freezing rain, and I think it's all rain. In Boston by 8 o'clock Sunday morning, it's raining with temperatures above freezing, probably very close to the 128 belt. Once you just get north and west of 128, probably freezing rain and sleet. And then in the Worcester Hills and points north, mostly snow. But it will be going back to snow in Boston by midday on Sunday with rapidly falling temperatures. Bitter cold and wind will follow this storm. Let's look at national temperatures. It's running in the 30s near 40 in Boston as of late this afternoon. But look at the minus 25 line. South Central Canada, lots of cold coming behind the storm. And it's cold in eastern Canada. This is where our air is going to be coming from. By Sunday afternoon as the wind turns north, this cold is going to be draining. Temperatures are going to be falling quite quickly. Let's look at the latest satellite loop, and you will be able to see. Moisture is gathering now back into the northern plain states. There's a southern stream that will be getting involved, and all this energy is going to be translating to the mid-Atlantic coast, where low pressure will be tracking from Pennsylvania, probably right across the Cape Cod Canal by Sunday morning, then into the Gulf of Maine, and then it's goodbye and a good luck, as they say. Radar shows... One element of snow now from the Dakotas back into Wisconsin at the present time. This is a light band of snow. Some other elements of rain and snow back out in Colorado. We do have some snow showers moving through New England with the pseudo-Arctic front in this position. This front will be coming through here later on tonight behind that colder air is coming in for tomorrow. So let's jump to it, folks. As they say, by 7 o'clock Sunday morning, we have low pressure in southeastern Pennsylvania. This black line is a coastal front. I think south of this front, it's in the 40s and certainly 50s over the Cape and the islands. And in the greater Boston area, it will be mild. It will be in the 30s, but just northwest, probably 495 points north of the west. Snow, sleet, and freezing rain in northwest of that. Mostly a snow event, say from Portland, Maine, Concord, New Hampshire, Albany. It's all snow where they could get over a foot of snow. But this area of low pressure is going to be traveling along this coastal front right over the canal probably by Sunday afternoon. So by 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon, there's low, actually the low splits in two centers. I mean, I think by that point, it's just academic. We have one low center to the east of us. That's going to turn the wind north and drag down all the cold air. That's why temperatures are going to fall like a rock Sunday afternoon. This second low is just going to join with the first one to enhance the activity. This is 1 o'clock, the back edge of the precipitation coming into about Albany, New York, moving steadily east. So say between 5 and 7, it's gone in Boston. Bitter cold winds will follow. It's got the wind northwest, north, gusting to 40 miles an hour Sunday afternoon. This is a new snowfall map that I just drew. So I'm thinking from the Merrimack Valley, Boston, southern Worcester County, out to Springfield, 6 to perhaps as much as 12. Don't just look at the 12. Look at the 6 to 12. That's the range. I think enough sleet and freezing rain will cut down the accumulation in the greater Boston area from Brockton to northern Rhode Island, four to perhaps as much as eight, Plymouth County to the south shore of Rhode Island, three to six, two to four in the Cape. Once you get to northern Worcester County, out to the Berkshires, all of ski country, a foot or more. So basically, the forecast goes like this. Overnight, just a chance of an evening snow shower. Clearing and cold overnight, it'll be 15 to 23. Tomorrow, lots of morning sun, the decreasing clouds. It'll be cold. Temperatures in the 20s. Snow will break out tomorrow night after 8 o'clock. It'll be in the 20s. It'll snow hard for a time tomorrow night. Then the wee hours of the morning. The snow is going to change to sleet and freezing rain. It's all rain in Boston early. Probably 6, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. It's raining in Boston. Temperatures jumping into the 30s. It goes back to heavy snow. 
by or before midday with rapidly falling temperatures. The storm is done before 7 o'clock Sunday evening. Windy, bitter cold at night, so you better get out and clean up before then because everything's going to be a sheet of ice. And on Monday for Martin Luther King Day, it's going to be sunny, windy, bitter cold, only 5 to 10 above zero. Of course, we'll be around throughout the weekend. We'll keep you posted. For now, I'm Mark Rosenthal.